He'll kick it off out of turn number four. Green flag comes out on Simpson Race Products. Heat race number one. See if he can work the wheel. Keep your eye at the back of the field as well. Brady Bacon, not a good qualifying run, trying to rifle his way up through as we got a battle up front. Two, three cars, and look at that. Here comes Darlin around the outside. Homer's hooked tires with Hodges. He moves into the number two spot already out of turn number four down the front straightaway. Or I'm sorry, 52 at Chapel, rather. Already into the number two spot. Chapel working down low on a race surface, trying to get around Gantz in a 4G car. He's back behind. A good battle taking place for number three on the field. Jake Swanson, 34 AZ car. Got that new power singing a merry tune underneath the hood. Works out, and here comes a run around the outside. Keep your eye on Ganson as well. This is hot and heavy with action all the way through the field. As now Bacon will go three wide out, turn number two and down the back straightaway. Trying to move into the number four spot. If he can get around Hodges in a 74X car. Up front, your race leader is going to be Chapel. 52 fought his way up through the field. Swanson moving into the number two spot, goes to the wall and turn number one and two and back to the throttle again. Hodges third down on the inside. Down into turn number three and four and onto the front straightaway. Making a run at that top spot. Isaac Chappell's got it. He's two-footing it around the bottom. I talked about how tricky that is, and Chappell's making it look fairly easy in the number 52 car. Swanson trying to carry as much momentum as possible around the top spot. Can't quite get there to the stripe. And again, Chappell, your race leader. Back behind. Darlin crossover down the inside. Slide job on the 74X of Hodges. Moves into third temporarily, but opens himself up to attack. And here comes Bacon down the inside. That battle now for the final transfer spot. Bacon deep into turn number three. Stair step three wide. Bacon kicks dirt in his face and takes the final transfer away from him. Darlin right back down the inside. Slide job on Bacon. Bacon crosses back. Well, look out. Hodges into the wall. He's out of the mix. Had the number three spot. He'll drop the fifth instantaneously with that misstep. Down at turn number two is Chapel again across the stripe. White flag is out, and Isaac Chapel's got to rock back onto the haunches and is headed for a victory in this heat race win. And the number 52 car down the back straightaway. Be his fifth of the season as a checker flag set to fly. Coming out, turn number four, final transfer spot up for grabs. Who's got it? Hodges can't get there in time. Darlin hangs on. It'll be Chapel, Swanson, Bacon, and Darlin, your top four. Here we go. Green flag coming out. Competition suspension. Heat race number two. It's a pretty good start. Crossover down the inside. Here comes the number 15 to Sheridan trying to looky loo on that number one spot. And he's not going to get there. It's sunshine to the top shelf. Nos Energy Drink was quick out there last night. Three wide for your race lead. He'll split the eye of the needle. Slot job out across, and he goes to the point. Down the inside. Here comes R.J. Johnson, the 92 car, coming to call in the number one spot again. But Sunshine tried to put some gone on him out of turn number two and down to back straightaway. He's got three car lengths into turn number three, and he'll move her down low on that corner and shut down the lane onto the front straightaway. The 7BC car from six to first in one lap. Incredible drive. He is going to be a force to contend with yet again tonight. Almost picked up the win last night. Just to grant the number four car last night's feature event winners. Battling out of turn number two. Looking to the outside. He'll take him into a stair step formation through three and four and move into the number three spot out of turn at number four. Took him just a little while longer to get the car up to speed, but he is quickly working up through the field. Started fifth, he scored third, and now is going to try to run down the top two, which is Tyler Courtney in the 7BC and the 92 of RJ Johnson running second. Fourth and final transfer spot so far in the hands of Sheridan. The number 15 car down low on the racetrack is back behind. We're going to hustle hard. Trying to pick off a transfer spot for Austin Williams. The number two car, Stevie Sussex. The 12A is there as well. And up front, R.J. Johnson unring Lenning in his pursuit of the 7BC. A Courtney out of turn number four and down to front straightaway. And R.J. trying to make it happen on the bottom side. Meanwhile, back behind, here comes Austin Williams coming to call on Sheridan for that final transfer position down into turn number two. He'll give up some speed, a little slip of the grip for the number two cars. He'll watch Sheridan recede into the distance. Meanwhile, R.J. Johnson with the misstep. Homer's clipped the tire down on the inside or the berm, whatever it was, and upset the race car, and he gave up distance to Courtney up front, who now has got clear sailing. He's opened up enough cushion of comfort between himself and R.J. Johnson, the 92 car. He doesn't feel the pressure anymore as the white flag comes out. He's almost got this one into books. Slider down into turn number one and two, and here comes another run at that final transfer spot. Williams to the outside is reeled in. The number 15 of Sheridan. Sheridan lies just ahead. Final shot at the ticket to the big dance. Down at turn number three and four. Checkered flags out for Courtney. R.J. Johnson across. And it looks like Sheridan's going to hang on for the number four spot. Just ahead, Justin Grant, the number four car, finishes out third. Green flag flies, and I'm not sure about that one. We'll see. 
Matt Rossi was quick on the trigger down there. A little premature acceleration. There comes the caution lights on. I saw that one coming. Green flag coming out. It's a little better. Bernal, I think, was trying to let him go out ahead. He wanted to get down the inside on Rossi and run him down into turn number one and two, and Rossi just smacked him down like a small child reaching for the cookie jar. Says, nay, nay, not today. Powers out by five car lengths down into turn number three and four. Meanwhile, around the outside, here comes the Ryan Bolt Underwood car. Oh, we got one squirrel down on the inside, but not so much on the outside. Logan CV to the number two spot. 19 car battling hard, and unfortunately for McDougal, he had a misstep coming out turn number four. He got tangled up and crossed up, and he goes all the way to the tail of the field. And that quickly, now Seavey's a little bit back. He's into the number four spot with company down the inside, and it's Wyndham. Five car, Baldwin Brothers racing, working hard. You're defending national champ. We got him three wide for the number three spot on the racetrack. Only taking the top four out of this heat race. So we'll race him down into the corner. Kevin Thomas Jr. separated out of the mix. He's trying to run down Rossi up front, battle for the race lead. Meanwhile, back behind, here comes Ryan Bernal. Into the number three position. Wyndham now working on the 19 car. Logan CV. CV come off the top shelf and down to the bottom to shut down that lane and try to maintain a transfer spot. Look out, there's a misstep into the cushion for Bernal. He'll give up one spot at least, maybe two to the strike, but it is two to the strike. Bernal went from in to out real fast as Wyndham was able to capitalize on it. The number five car, and Ryan Bernal right back at him. That car's got some giddy up in the 73, though. You saw him get out of the throttle and back into it again. It just hopped great, too. But unfortunately for him, CV down on the inside. Bernal battles back three wide again down the front straightaway. Look out. Oh, my. Up front. Battle for the race lead now. Great battle for your final transfer spot. And Kevin Thomas Jr. has got her under full sail around the outside. Looking for the race lead on Rossi. Needs his points in the chase for the championship. White flag coming out the next time by. And here comes KTJ. Out wide again down the inside. Rossi holds him off. Almost that drag race into the corner. But Kevin Thomas Jr. finally speed through the apex onto the front straightaway. Rossi picks up the white flag. Back behind the battle. Still tremendous for your final transfer spot. Three cars duking it out. Meanwhile up front, Kevin Thomas Jr. trying to get the race lead. Rossi right back to the point. KTJ's got one more shot at him in turn number three and four as he'll try to make the hay out onto the front straightaway. Rossi, is he going to hold him off? Oh, so close at the strike. Kevin Thomas Jr. gets him. Final transfer spot right at the strike as well. Hot Rod lights the fuse on it, and away we go. Good start back through the field. Chase Stockton, 32 car, going to be one to watch. C.J. Leary as well. Leary got him three wide for the number four position down turn number one to two. And we're still three wide down the back straightaway. And finally, Leary fights his way on through and down into the corner. Meanwhile, up front, Gao going to show the way. Roll it back to second and wheels up for Chase Stockton, the number 32 car. 44, Cadillac Cody Williams into the number four spot, at least for now, as he goes right to the wall down the back straightaway. Leary's able to clear him down on the inside. Good dig for C.J. Leary to number 30 down low on a racing surface, able to rip power into the number three spot. Now back to fourth on the field as Rowe is finding his stride on the top shelf. Meanwhile, Gardner's not shown up on scene just yet. Look out, we catch the wall, we got a spinner. He's on the gas. Caution flag's gonna come out. That would shut down for Cody Williams. Power on the old DRC chassis. Green flag comes out, we'll see if we can hold him off. They'll pursue down into turn number one to two row right back to the cushion. 91 R cars will ease it into the corner and get back to the throttle. Get on the outside. CJ Leary trying to get the number three spot away from him. Look out, another one skips down the back straightaway, almost into the wall. And Mahako is not going to be able to get to the infield. He blew the steering out of that one. You can see it wobbling around and caution flag coming out. So green flag set to come out. We still have, well, five laps remaining. Three laps scored into books. Dennis Gow back to the throttle again. Car's running well for him. Of that, there is no doubt. Let's see if he's able to hold it off the horde. Is here we go. Contact. Gardner gets caught up. He'll run into Leary. Try to keep it running, and he can. He'll get caught on him. Three cars stop tail the field. But he does know he's running into number three position. Here comes Green Flag, and we're back underway. Dennis Giles' car is very stout out of the holes. Here we go. Back to the cushion for Brody Roa down the inside. C.J. Leary not able to get the number three spot. Or is he? He's right alongside. Roa may give up a position to drop himself back to the bump spot. Should have dropped in line and hung on to it. And that's not his style, though. He's here to win races, not finish safely. As he'll try to get back to the outside. He's lost his transfer spot. He has got to go, go, go. As Gardner gets by down on the inside. Brody Roa went from being in the show to being out looking in, and he has got a race around here in these final three laps again around Damian Gardner down on the inside. 
As Gardner slides it hard, turn number one and two, Roa has got to go. Come on, get on the throttle to the outside. Damien Gardner down low is able to hold him off yet again. Says, not today, my friend. Is up front. Chase Stockton took over the race lead while we weren't looking, but that battle back behind tremendous because that battle is for a championship with the USAC CRA Sprint Cars. Every point counts, and Damian Gardner's got a transfer spot, and Roa doesn't. Roa, good drive out of turn number two. He's got one picked off. Going for a twofer as C.J. Leary throws a short slider on Dennis Kyle down into the corner. Roa comes around the outside, back to the number three spot. Looking for second on the field. Never give up. Look out. Damian Gardner's going to bump Guile out to odd and get back into the number four position. Damian Gardner knows he's got to stick with Roa. He's got to go to the dance. Checkered flag coming out for Stocking up front. Second's going to go to C.J. Leary. Third to Brody Roa. Gardner finishes out fourth on the field.